Triad Traffic Trouble, sponsored by Tatum and Atkinson. Call 1-800-LAW-0804. Long waits, a lack of options, and hard to understand timing. All of these are things local riders of the High Point Transit System say impact them every day. And with new changes coming, they say it's something that's raising a lot of concerns. Here is very slow and it's very, you have to have patience. So it's, it's a patience thing. Jamela Davis has lived in High Point for about 13 years. Her experience with the High Point Transit System has been up and down. I utilize the bus service as much as I can, but the convenience of the park bus is even better. She says she faces problems due to the long wait times and the lack of bus options. So I like the high trend. The high trend wait times are not 15 or 30 minutes as more populated cities times and the frequency of the rides because they're they're spaced out because the center is so small. All routes on the High Point Transit system used to operate once every 30 minutes, but now due to operational challenges, transportation director Greg Venable says that's changing. We run every 30 minutes in our peak hours. Um, after the peak hours, we go to every hour. Um, but right now, due to some operational constraints, we are having to run uh, all day at uh, on our headways. Venable says those changes are due to personnel availability and staffing issues, which they are currently working on. Hopefully, this is just a, um, a short-term issue. We'll get those drivers back, and we can. We also have drivers that we are currently training. But for frequent riders like Davis, it's still frustrating. During extreme conditions, when it's summertime or when it's extremely cold in the winter, we need that frequency because this location where we can wait on the inside also closes at 5. So we're outside waiting on the buses. Venable says several routes, including Route 10 and 11 and Route 25, will continue to run on a 30-minute schedule due to their popularity. While there is no timeline for when the transit routes will return to normal, Venable says they're doing their best to get back to that as soon as possible. Hopefully sooner rather than later, but a lot of that depends on those drivers I mentioned with medical issues and then how soon we can get those trainees on the roads. Saturday routes will continue to run on a normal schedule. If you know of a troubled roadway you would like us to investigate, just email us at trafficktips at abc45.com. We'll air your concerns every Tuesday evening. In High Point, I'm Casey Zanowick, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.